Hi guys, my name is Alexander and in this video I would like to show how in Notion we can do concept of mind maps. So currently in Notion there is no native mind map tools, but in Notion there are some interesting features like relations that can help us to build something that will look like mind maps. And let's go and I'll show you how it works and how to build it from scratch. Here is a mind maps that I draw in uh, Miro. It's an online collaboration board where we can see two subtopics, its name of companies. In each company there are some departments. In company A there are two departments, in company B three departments, and in the departments working people. So here is a classic mind map that divided into topics, subtopic, sub subtopic, and final uh, data. So how we can do it in Notion? So I locate in, in my screen to Windows that you can see it how it works both. So I prepared a short checklist what we will do that will help you to do it yourself. Let's start with with the basics. So we need to create database for each topic. So we have topics uh, with companies. So we will create database with company. I do it with a new page. We create new table database. Let's call it companies. We have two companies A and company B. We can call it company and company B. Yes, and second database is departments. Each company has some departments. We will do the same. And I'll just duplicate this page to save time. Call this departments. And call the departments how we How we named it in our database. Company B. Yeah, and third one is people. So I create people here. There are a lot of people. So we filled people database. And let's go to next step, create relations and uh, customize it view. So, so with company is related to departments. Departments is related to people. So let's create departments. Check this here to relation and check departments. And we want to see double way Add relation and let's fill it with departments sales marketing the same we will do it in departments page where we have people and let's can create relation to people database we want to do it in two ways add relation and then people in sales department we choose Alex Alex, John, Emma, and then, yeah, so we filled departments with people. In people, we see that relation is both way, so we don't need to uh, to fill it, but we can create a roll-up property with name of the company where people is worked. So we, and it will fill it automatically because we have relation departments. So now we want to show the name of the company, yeah. Let's go further. So we create relations. We fill the data for each database. We create relate uh, rollups. In companies, we can create rollups to for each company. If people want to count how many departments we have in uh, this company. So we create rollup. Select departments. 
people and we can calculate all. If we need to do the same in departments, we can do the same for departments and to count roll up, count people or head count. Select people database and calculate all. So now we see which departments, how many people works. We can do it in show it in properties. And in that in this database we will see this number of people working in each department. Yeah. In next step we create a dashboard. I prefer to build the dashboards on the same page where you can uh, empt all database that you want, would like to see. For example, we would like to see the companies like a uh, gallery. So we create new view, call it gallery. To do more user-friendly and to see some properties that we want to show in this, for example, departments. Yeah. And let's empt this gallery view. We can empt with two ways. First one is we just want we just want to click can click link to view and paste it here and create paste link database. Yeah, so here as we can see a companies. Now we can add uh, people and departments. For example, I would like to add people database divided grouped by departments. So I create view, grouped, call it grouped. Uh, table is okay, grouped by departments, alphabetical, yeah, identity groups. And let's add this view with another way so we can create new block link database choose database that we want to add choose views that we want to add and that's all so here's how it looks like so we have company they're here we have in each company there's departments yeah they're here and in each department there are people that work in these departments so here's how it looks like simple view of database also you can end in a company create a template where you can uh, paste people who work in that com specific company we do it with linked view database and people database which group by departments but with filter for company a i press filter people that means it will automatically filter the name of the company so when you press activate this template it automatically will be filtered by by the company a as we see also we can activate it for company b and we'll see all people who work in company b so now it's more user-friendly more customizable and we can use it yeah so in Notion, there is no native databases, but in Notion, there are relations. In Notion, there are embedding database inside the page. That's why it's a good alternative for mind maps, and you can use it in any area that you want. Thank you very much. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel, and see you in the next video.